Art students, this lesson is priceless. This is something that you need to do over and over again. So let's go to the drawing table and do it and do it again. Okay, so as you already know, the title of this video is Drawing Only From Your Imagination. Now, this is will help you draw a lot better. A lot of people still have trouble drawing and, and they, uh, they beat themselves up and, and, you know, they criticize their own work, but you do this. Using these rules guarantee you your drawings will become better. Now, you have to use these rules. You have to follow these steps in order for it to work. First thing is we're not using any uh, reference. We're drawing only from the imagination. Whatever you can see in your head, be it just a picture, a scene, uh, an, an object, whatever, we're going to draw that. Second of all, get you some paper old paper don't don't go and get your you know your expensive sketchbook sketch sketch pad get you some old paper some old notebook paper or some what is that the newsprint something that you're going to throw away because we're not going to keep this to show off i mean you can keep it to look at your improvement but you're not going to keep it to show off and frame it and say this is this is the great work all right grab a bunch of uh, accessories because you don't know what you might use, pens, pencils, ink pens, markers, whatever it is that you have, grab it because we're going to use that. So those are the things. Drawing from the imagination only. Old paper, we're not going to keep it. We're using anything you can, pencil, paper, whatever. And the final one is whatever's, whatever we draw, we keep it. We don't criticize. We don't criticize because we're not keeping it. We're not showing it off, so you don't be mad at yourself. Let it go. Blow it all out. We're going to draw, and whatever comes up on the paper is whatever comes up on the paper. So anything is fair to draw. Whatever whatever comes to your mind, draw it. Don't criticize. So as I do this, now most of this information is, is going to be, is, most of the information is going to be the important part, not the drawing part, because I don't know your skill level. You don't know the other person's skill level. You're just doing to do. So we're following along. You don't have to draw what I draw. Well, so I say, please don't draw what I draw, but just kind of look and listen. So as you draw, you can do some of the things that I'm doing as well. So you can draw, as I said, whatever comes to mind. I mean, if you've drawn a hand a hundred times, draw a hand, then draw a foot, draw whatever comes to mind. It's not something that you don't know what it looks like because I'm going to do that as well. Things that I, I don't know what they look like. I'm going to draw that, but I'm not going to beat myself down because this is fun. That's another one. Have fun doing it. Have fun doing it. And I have these like lined up here so you can understand the rules of this. All right. So let's get to drawing. I'm going to draw. And we're not using reference. We're not using reference. So I'm just going to draw something that I probably draw a million times and I'm going to work from there. So I am going to draw just the body and it's going to be kind of you know out there but that's okay i'm drawing the body and then as i say we'll go from there doesn't make a difference what pose its body is in because i'm not going to keep it i'm just drawing what i see and then go from there It's not going to be perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. You're having fun doing it. So he's got something in his hand. Let's make a little sword in his hand. The sword is broken. Okay. The sword is broken. So he's taking it to the shop to get, get it fixed. Now, usually when I draw, I'll come up with scenarios and that makes it a little easier for me to to understand what's going on. It makes it easier for me to, to put my heart into drawing and I, um, and it's fun. So he's got that. And then let's just say his other hand here. And it doesn't make, I can't draw a hand. That doesn't make a difference. You're just kind of having fun here. So right here, he's got a chicken. Let's just say, what does a chicken look like? I don't know. I know he's got a little round head and a chicken beak. And he's got it by his neck. And this is going to be the body and his feathers and 
He was going to cut the chicken's head off for dinner. But then his sword broke because he got into a fight with some other knight. So, yeah. yeah broken sword. So he's going to take the chicken in to get something, to get his sword replaced so he can chop that chicken up so we can have some food. So, let's say... Do his feet and as I said it doesn't make a difference if if it's off or not because it's about having fun this is having fun this is this is throwing away the rules and having fun so this guy's got some he's got some nice tennis shoes on okay he's got some nice shoes he just got from the store he didn't get no blood on him cutting up the chicken now, I could go and I could, like, Google some, you know, Nikes or, or whatever kind of tennis shoes, but I'm not because, as I say, this is fun. It's the imagination. You've seen tennis shoes before. So what you what you think or what you can remember them look like, you just do that. I know a tennis shoe has a big sole on it, and some of them have the little rubber over the toe where it goes around. Some have the little piece on the heel, and most of them have the, uh, the Nike, the, the little symbol. So we're just going to do these shoes here. So you can't be walking around naked with a broken sword. So let's give him, let's give him, I don't know, just some armor, a little bit of armor. Somehow, somehow, some way. So this is like the, 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 um, the little loincloth part that comes down. And let's give him a let's give him a let's give him a cut off t-shirt. Why not? Why not? So we'll cut off long sleeves. Why not? And give him a V-neck. Oh V neck. Let's give him the round neck here and this part of his shirt cut off like that. There you go. So he's walking down the street. Okay, he's walking down the sidewalk. And people are looking at this guy. So, well, let's just do this. He got his, this person has got his hands over his mouth. He's like, oh my goodness, what, what, what is going on here? What is that? And those shoulders are too, those arms are too low down on the person. But that's okay. Let's just make him, give him that quick stick body. And then we'll bring those arms up a little more. Like that. It's all right. This is from the imagination. And let's just say this is a little kid here. Look at a little chubby kid. He's just he just the chubby kid with short legs. Uh, let's shift him up. Let's give him two legs. Two legs. Of course he's gonna have two legs. He got a big chubby kid head. And then he's like, Mommy, what in the world? And he's got his his little little big teddy bear right here he's choking the life out of that little teddy bear big teddy bear and this one he ripped the arm off and the stuffing is falling out yeah so let's give him another let's say he's pointing at the guy he's pointing at the guy what does a pointed finger look like i don't know it does it make a difference no it doesn't make a difference the thumb is over here and the thumb should be on the inside so we're gonna put the thumb on the inside like it should be the arm comes down and it goes up like this. So he's got a diaper on. What's a diaper look like? It's been a thousand years since I've ever seen a diaper or had to change a diaper. So it's just wrinkly. He's got a little outie belly button. He's got big glasses because he can't really see. He's got an afro. Yeah, and he's like, oh my goodness, mother. What's that? So at this point, let's just say, let's just ink this. Let's have some fun inking. So we'll grab something. We grab an ink pen. We're going to ink this a little, little bit. And as I say, it's not going to be perfect. It shouldn't be perfect. It's just you're doing to play. And get a bigger, get a bigger pen here. Let's try this one. Because it's not perfect. So we're going to a little wrinkle here in the arms. For the shirt, some tears. Comes down here, little wrinkles, tear. 
chest right there. And, and here's the hand. And if you go back and you're inking and you choose to make it a little more detail, a little more right, then that's, that's fine. And more piece of sword. And it's broken. Right there. So we got a little abs going on right there. Let's do let's just let's 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 give him a beard. Usually I don't draw with the pen, but you know, because it's it's um imagination day. Draw with the pen. So we got a beard. He's a bearded warrior, but he's like an old, old bearded warrior right there. There you go. He's got he's losing his hair. And he's got some nice shades on. Give him some nice shades. Because he's cool like that. He's cool like that. So, look, old man eyebrows. And then you have that old man wrinkle head. And he's cool. But you know, he's muscular. He's muscular because he work out. He go to the gym. So, for the belt. My loincloth little thing that hangs down. Covers up his uh, natural manhood. And then this is gonna, just going to be like a, a little metal thing on the side of, you know, like a little metal shield kind of thing. And there's a chicken. Chicken ain't dead because he didn't kill it yet. And chicken's like, oh my goodness. And he's like drooling because, you know, he's afraid. Chicken had the thing on his head. I think chickens have that thing on their head. Got his little wings. His little chicken feet. Okay, all right, so this got a little bit of leg muscle up in here. Maybe a knee pad, why not? So it doesn't make a difference what uh, what you're drawing, it doesn't make a difference. Don't kick yourself. Oh, this is not right. This is not right. This is ugly. This is ugly. This is stupid. It's not stupid. It's your drawing. It's coming from your imagination. It doesn't have to be right. Give yourself a break every now and then from trying to draw so perfectly. And once you start being more loose, you'll see right off the bat that you are becoming a better artist. calves because he goes to the gym. He is like the chicken slayer. And this is these are things that, that you know I've drawn tennis shoes a, a lot enough to know the, the formation of a shoe, how it's kind of structured. But is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. And I'm not trying to make it perfect. So same thing. Don't try to make it perfect. Just have fun. I'm having fun because as I'm drawing I'm imagining you know, what's going on? What's going on? I'm adding some story to it. So this guy's got him a $50,000 Rolex. Or iWatch, depends on, you know, maybe he can't afford a $50,000 one. So he's got that iWatch. Is it iWatch? Let's do this. Let's let's give him a little, some little hearts on his shirt because, you know, Fashion is everything. Fashion is everything. Yeah, so now let's just let's just go plus ultra as as uh what's his name? What's his name? Uh All Might would say. Let's just, let's say, let's just add some shadow. You know, a lot of people are, are not good at adding shadow, and this is the good thing about doing this. So let's just say because his arm is there, there's gonna be some shadow under his arm. Let's just color that. Let's just say there's gonna be some shadow under here. And this is, 
as I said, this is the thing about drawing and not caring. If you mess up, you know, oh well. But if you get something right, you're like, hey, that worked. I'll try that on my next drawing. So, let's get a little shadow right here. Maybe just add some shadow under here, the leg. And let's feather that going up just because we can try just to see what it looks like. And then maybe a little shadow here, maybe under here, under this thing here. Because it's down on the ground, a little there. How uh, about under here too as well? Under there, under here too. So basically you're just looking to add stuff. You're adding stuff under the chin. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with the nose. Let's do something in the ear. A little bit of shadow right here at the back of his head. The sun is, light is hitting his neck. Fix his shirt, shirt goes around his neck like that. A little under the sword. So do a little bit of this. And this is stuff that you would naturally want to try on your regular drawing, but you really don't want to mess it up. So you're scared to do it. So let's get some like some light reflections in this because this is metal. This is metal. Does that look good? No, it does not to me. So I would not do that on my regular drawing. But since I'm playing around, I'm still doing it. And a little crease on his little pants here. I forgot about this belt. This belt here. Let's put like some bullets. Carrying some bullets around. Does he have a gun? Maybe. You never know. Side of that. Let's put a little shadow under the belt. A little shadow under the little shield here. And then this is behind him. Like so. All right, so not too shabby. Now I could do things like color the heart to just add some, some color to it. Color the heart, add a little color to it. We're having fun. That's the main thing. If you don't have fun doing it, don't do it. But Brian, I don't have fun going to work. Well, I'm not gonna tell you quit your job because Brian ain't paying your bills. Some things we have to do, some things we don't have to do. So let's just get this little line under here. So the fat kid, the fat kid. Okay, we got the thumb here. We had that palm, we had the other palm. So he's pointing with the wrong finger. So we're gonna point with that finger, this finger down, down, down. All right, so he's got his little shirt on. Let's get a big shirt here. Wrinkles. He got a shirt on? Okay, he's got a, a little short shirt too. Like that, because he's fat. So, and he's got a torn up shirt there, just like the guy. He could be like, Mommy, is that my dad? So, where's that thumb? It's going to be here. Is that thumb there? So, the fingers are going to be here. So, the thumb is behind that. So, another good thing about drawing, you could mess up and then figure it out. Figure it out later. Figure it out later. What does a teddy bear look like? I don't know. He's got one eye, and he's got one eye missing. And he ain't happy because he's getting the life choked out of him. And this is his little teddy bear hand. He makes him a panda. His little foot there. Foot there. And his other arm is ripped off. And his little stuffing is coming out. Because he's a harsh, cruel kid. And make the diaper big, bro. The diaper got to be big. Put some, um, some Crocs on them. What do Crocs look like? I don't know. I don't like Crocs. I hate Crocs, but I see them. I think those are the laziest, ugliest things. You'll never be sponsored by the Croc company. Well, yeah, I just blew that one. But still, baby Crocs. And he got his little Audi belly button. And he got these big glasses because, you know, the boy can't see. And he's got, like, mom. The one tooth, but he can still speak English. With a fat baby face, and his afro. A little 
big ears, baby ears, and I say he got a shirt on and one of those bibs. So here's mom. Mom has got, she's like, oh my goodness. Mom has got her hair waving in the wind because mom is beautiful. Mom's got big, 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 triple size D. Oh, come on, Brian. <laughs> keep going, keep going, yeah. That's why mom got all the men right there. So we got this arm, we got this arm in front of that arm and her mouth, the shoulder, the head and that little neck. And the arm is all wrong, but that's okay. You know what? Because we are drawing from imagination. Nice dress. Mom well, got them heels on. Let's put the heels on for mom. And give mom a little bit of nose, and she's like, oh my goodness. And the hair comes down like that because she's a fashion model. And Give her a belt. Why not? How does a beautiful mom have such an ugly kid? Well, genetics, baby, genetics. The dad is ugly. All right, so we got that. Okay, we can just put some shading. Let's put some. Let's just mess with some diaper shading here. And as I say, that's the best way to bring up your skills. Is by doing stuff that you are afraid to do on your average picture. Got his glasses here. Let's see what we can do with mom's hair. A lot of people say, oh, I can't draw hair. Um, you can draw it, you're just not happy with it. You just draw it more until you become happy with it. There's like no magic pill to drawing. It's just like, there's no magic pill to really anything, to driving or doing math or riding your skateboard. You just have to get out there and do it. But by drawing on paper or something that you don't really care about or not worrying about is it gonna mess up or who's gonna say this or that, then you tend to, you not tend to, you will become a better artist. Where's her mouth at? That's her nose, there's her mouth. Some teeth. And some fingers. And the boobs right there. So yeah. Alright, so let's do this. Let's let's we'll go, let's do a horse head. What does a horse head look like? I don't know. But to show you guys that it really makes no difference. I'm gonna do it anyway. I know horse head is like square. I've drawn horses before. And a lot of times it's the, it's the, well, it is the shape. It is the shape. Like if I do square down, if I do this way, or I can do it that way. The, the, you know, a dog's face, I think, is more this way. And I don't know what's this way, but a horse is more square. So let's just, let's just do the horse and see what we come up with. Because this is imagination. So I think they, they have this little jaw. As I said, I've drawn horses before, but, you know, I've never mastered a horse. Or drawing horses and horses have that's a dog right there see it's becoming a dog it's just slight subtle shapes change it to from one animal to another animal so let's go back to the horse i don't think his face is that long it's a dog maybe because maybe because this is too long doesn't make a difference is a horse, of course horse has a mouth how does a horse mouth look i don't know let's do this let's make a dog horse okay so i don't know what a horse's nose look like looks like it's a dog's nose. It's a dog horse. It's a dog horse. He's big as like a dog horse. Horse, I think the jaw, jaw comes back more. And the eye is somewhere here. Okay, we're going to do the uh, other eye somewhere there. But that ain't no horse. It's a mutant horse, all right? It's about playing. That's more of a horse. You put the mane on him. There we go. Now we got the, the horse, the dog horse. So... I don't know, does he have little muscles in his jaw? Does it make a difference? So we're going to do this. 
this. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like turning off. It's like, oh, he's not doing anything. But you got to understand, this is important. This is crazy important because if you don't do that, you will constantly be looking for these YouTube teach me how to draw channels and all these people are going to be doing is drawing their best, these perfect pictures. And you'll say, I can never draw that. I can never because you don't practice. You don't just practice for failure. Practice for failure. Okay. You don't practice. You don't just do because you're always trying to draw your perfect picture the first time. So here's my dog horse nose. And I think dogs have that split. I don't think horses have that little split in the middle. I don't know. Come down. I'm going to give them the big horse group. Yes, horses don't have eyes like this, but that's okay. It's my drawing. I can cry if I want to. It's a song you're too young to remember. <clears throat> so let's just say we're going to put some some fur on this horse. Horses don't have fur. They do now. Because you're trying stuff. You're trying, you're trying, you're trying stuff. I'm seeing a spaceship for some strange reason. So I guess we'll draw a spaceship after I draw my fuzzy horse dog. And let's just give him this. Yeah, boy, comics. And then this just is just dripping. It's the fang dog horse from the spaceship that I'm about to draw. So let's get in that little horsey mane right there. Let's see what we can do with the, the horse hair. Let's use the big marker because I don't want to waste the ink on the little marker. Now he's a hyena, dog, horse, fang, monster. Yeah, all right, switch up, switch up. Now, put yourself in a situation. Man, I hope that wasn't all blurred. I really, really hope because I did not look at the camera. Hopefully that wasn't blurred. So, put yourself in a situation. Put yourself, if you're gonna draw a character, put yourself in a situation. Where's the camera? Like if I looked at this one, the camera would probably it would probably be because you don't see the top of this, you don't see the inside of this. You it was probably down here somewhere. So it would be more like this. That would be your perspective. So remember that whenever you draw. So <clears throat> I don't know. That's imagination. Imagination. Doesn't make a difference. We've all seen Star Wars. Yes, we have. What does the TIE Fighter look like? Something like this, but I don't know. I don't think it has that wagon wheel in the middle. This one does. A couple guns down here. And this is the executive TIE Fighter. Bring that in. That's going back about right there. So that one might have to go back a little bit more because this is about right here on that side. So about like that, like that. So this guy's he's gonna land on water, so he's gonna have like his little skis here. So the question would be. How can those skis touch the ground if this little wing is way up here? This is how it gets in with the little hatch. And the answer would be this, the skis extend down or these lift up, whatever. 
So let's just do some crazy stuff on this. Man, where's my, my pen at? Let's do some crazy stuff on this. Let's just say, here is the pilot right in here. He's in here and he's, he's flying the little thing. There's one hand and there's the other hand and there's the little joysticks in there. So do this. As I say, it could be anything you want as long as you're having fun. If you're not having fun, then stop and go eat a sandwich or something. But if you want to be a true artist, this stuff is fun to you. Or if you want to excel in art, stuff like this is fun. If you, if you just draw and you're miserable all the time, you need to stop. If anything just makes you miserable constantly, just constantly miserable, you, you need to stop. Be miserable well you know I'm not gonna give you advice on that one but if you every day is a grind to come home and to see your spouse then that's telling you something that's telling you something again my job is giving me trouble well you find another way to pay your bills or find another job there's jobs out there but we're going to drawing I'm not giving like life Life lessons. That's for a therapist. So as I do more with the ink pen, I kind of see a little bit more detail so I can do more detail. And remember these are the guns here. TIE fighters don't have guns. This is the executive. This is the executive TIE fighter, man. So I guess this ski would be more of here since it's coming at that angle. And you can go and watch somebody that, you know, Oh, drawing Batman. Oh, he's been, you know, drawing Batman for 25 years. But as I said, you when you walk away, when you walk away from that video, what do you have other than the knowledge of knowing that cat can really draw? I mean, if you just want to be entertained and you found the right channel with, with that person, but if you want to draw, then you have to find somebody that's actually teaching you how to draw and not showing you that they can draw. And I, you know, some people might say I'm down on other artists, I'm not because you know, that's their thing. But my thing is, I'm not gonna show you a bunch of pretty pictures. Just, oh, look at me, look at, look at how I draw Robin and look at, look at this car. It's like, you wanna learn to draw. So that's why you found this channel. I'll put something in here, some little TIE Fighter design. And that one's just as crooked as, as all get up. But that's okay because, hey, you know, that's how it is. So the Tide Fighter is chasing this guy right here. So let's just do this. Let's, 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 let's get that form right first. So we got the head, the, uh, the uh, torso, uh, buttocks with the, with the tuna can is right there somewhere and then you got the legs it's going to follow that this one he's got he's spreading the legs kind of looks like you know he's fleeing a little bit more like flying a little bit more trying to get away when you have the legs together it's kind of like a smooth you know oh i'm i'm confident kind of flying thing so put the legs like apart i mean if he was looking back it would be hard in this position He's chasing this guy and a cape. Something Jim Lee used to say. Jim Lee used to say he would draw capes a lot because it covers up a lot of his drawing time. And it also covers up some mistakes. So if this guy's looking back, 
Let's get them this little short little raggedy tore up cape. And as you see, the cape will cover up the back so I don't have to worry about the spine and getting the buttocks right. And then these guns are aimed, but you know what? They're kind of homing missiles. So that they can shoot whatever and then they come back at you. Like that. So let's let's ink this guy. Let's use a small pen. Put a little detail into him. So he is looking back at this guy. And let's give him a mask. And his hair is going to be going this way because he's flying fast. Where's the end of his face? Right here. This pen is not really writing good. Do I have another one? Don't see it, so let's just keep going. Don't like that, let's switch up. And the other one was a X S S S S X. I guess it's oh, X X extra small. This is a small. This is our Faber Castell, which have become very expensive. And these are I forgot what the name of these are. These are a uh, pen from China. Uh, I just like the little tips. It's it's kind of like a, a pen and a brush thing. The only difference is these are a little harder. So you can bear down on the Faber Castell. Whereas the other ones will be more for uh, inking. You can draw with them, but yeah, here's my cape. It tore up because he's been getting shot at, so there's like holes in the cape. And then the legs. Give him some nice boots. Heels on the boots. And I could do this forever, and I'm thinking about right now, thinking about time-wise. So I want to kind of do a couple more things just to give you some things to do. Like the bottom of the, the heel, the bottom of the, 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 the boots. Have you ever drawn the bottom of the boots or drawn up flying position this way? Just little, little hintsy things, hintsy things. Give these guys some colorful hair. Rockets, homing rockets. Always turn your paper when you ink. It's easy to pull, pull the pen than to push the pen. All right, now let's look at some detail on something like this detail again where would I put my shadow since this is a kind of metal it's going to have a shadow here but it's going to be a reflective light underneath so I'm not going to take the shadow all the way there and then maybe just break the shadow up as it comes up and around so it's there and it's like I'll break it up going up here the shadow under here to show that the cockpit has a, a like a, a lip to it and maybe here well, like the, the, the front screen has like a lip to it maybe some shadow here here and it's basically it's, it's just practice so add a little more detail to that and that's a good thing about these pens is you can do those kind of hash lines, feathering kind of things. So if I drew an eye, it'd be good for like an eyelash, I guess, but I don't do, you know, eyelashes. 
I left that to the eyelash experts. Yeah. Eyelash experts. Back to my superhero guy. My boots, boots are black except for that one white line for the glare. There's no glare in space. Who said he was in space? Top for him to get out of. And they will make like really thin lines. You can do thin lines with this pen and you can do thin to thick to thin. And it's a, it's, it's a pretty good pen. I don't remember the name of it, but I will do a video. I keep saying that I'm going to do a video on this one day and I will. Here's the Death Star. Why has it got to be the Death Star? Why you got to steal it? And here's the little cannon here. I don't remember what that looks like. And let's just say this part was blown out or still under repair. Or better yet, he, the superhero guy, him, himself, he came and he ripped the chunk out of it and ran out of power. So now he has to get out of there. Because they are sending their little Death Stars, Death Stars, their little TIE Fighters after him, drawing from imagination. Something else you learn how to draw is just devastation. Forty-four minutes. No way. No way. Has it been forty-four minutes? So yeah. Anyway, maybe not. Maybe so. have something in the foreground you want to make it the lines thicker so it'll stand out more which means his his lines would have to be thicker than this thing this is shot perspective but that's okay remember you 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 you're, you're somewhat throwing this away you're not keeping it you know, unless you're just going to keep it to to show what you were doing as you progress. All right, let's just do one more, one more quick thing, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more as I'm doing this. So you want to draw something. Let's say you want to draw a scene. First of all, you want to, you have to have that picture in your head. You have that picture in your head. Second of all, just like if you had a drone with a camera on it, you're flying that drone into that scene. Now, is that drone going to be above? Is it going to be looking directly? Is it going to be in front? Is it going to be behind? All that stuff you have to take in consideration when you draw a scene. So let's just draw something. Just, I don't know. I don't know. Just, just something. Let's put somebody right here. Let's put them real close. This guy is close. This is his head. And that's, I don't start out with the head, but I'm just starting out with the head here. Take it to the head. Take it to the head. Hey, he could be forward. He could be backwards. I don't know. So there's other people here in this in this scenario. So they're facing forward. And I started out with the head again. I, I usually don't, but I'm drawing the box figure here. So let's draw some people back here. And there's the body. I did the body. So this would go one way. No, it, it, it all depends. Your shoulder would go this way. Your feet would go that way as well, going perspective, or your shoulder can come up. And your feet can go depending on where the 
um, line is. So my point of view is going to be right there. So this would have to go more like this. This would be like this. Taking in consideration that perspective, the head is still going to be here. This is going to be up. This is going to be down. So this guy is going to be above the, the um, actually, if I'm above what? Let's do another guy here. Finish that sentence as soon as my brain clears. Let's, 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 we got these three people, so let's just, let's do this, let's, no, not there. Let's do it, Brian, do it. Doesn't make a difference, let's just do it. So this is going to be kind of small. This is the Jupiter 2 the old original Jupiter 2, the way they should have kept it before they redid Lost in Space. So, how do you remember that, Brian? Because I, I have the Jupiter 2 somewhere, a little model of it somewhere. And I did love that spaceship. I think that one, you know, that was, that was my Millennium Falcon back in the day. So these guys came out of the Jupiter 2 and they brought their little horse dog fang creature looking thing with them, which I'm not gonna draw that bad. When I'm not gonna draw that. We draw from imagination, draw from imagination. So here's that little here's that little fat baby again. Why are you drawing that little fat baby? He joined these guys with his sword he had the sword the man had the sword fixed and the fat baby came and he stole it so that's gonna be a big sword to that fat baby I, no, I was going I was gonna look at the fat baby I was gonna look at but no we're drawing from imagination so I can't look at the fat baby did he have crocs on or did the mama have the crocs on? I think the fat baby had the crocs on He had a fat jaw, and I know he had an afro. He had a little afro. He's like, yeah, we're going to conquer. And I know he had a little diaper and a little whatever shirt. And the bib. Yeah, he had a bib on with the torn sleeves. The fat baby is here, and he's got teeth now. So, drawing from imagination, drawing from imagination. Um, okay, his diaper's wet. And he, you know, he's so excited. He's just dripping a little urine on the ground. So, let's do this. Let's take, let's take, let's take, let's take this pencil. Let's just take this pencil. I don't want to take this pencil because that glare is going to be crazy. But I want to cover up the... Um, for you, it's not. For me, it is. I'm going to kind of cover up the red. Drawing from imagination. If these guys are from the Jupiter 2, so they would have some nice little space kind of suits on, I guess. Imagination. And then... Uh, That's what you want to talk. I am. By doing this more and more, you will become a better artist at, 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 at being an artist. Because you're not really worried about Is it perfect? Is it perfect? Like that nose, that could be a better nose, but it's not. I mean, if I want to come back and fix it in ink, I could. Here's, here's the baby's mom. Hey, you know, because she, 
she can't go really go anywhere without the baby. And does she have a breast reduction? No, she did not. No, don't get mad because look, Power Girl, Power Girl's boobs are about like that big anyway. So she came from the spaceship. So she has that same outfit on. And the number is number nine. Is that a nine or a G? He's number four. And so we've got some little air things here. His arm is here, so you won't see that. She is, give her a little nose. Does she have glasses on? I don't remember. Her hair, she cut her hair. It's too much to deal with, so she cut it. And the fat baby. He's like, yeah, we hit a conquer and kick some fatty. Cause babies don't curse. He's got the afro. That baby, oh, he had glasses. I believe he did have glasses. And then here's the little baby hand trying to hold that sword. Stained up diaper and his Crocs. Which the shoulders are wrong, but that's okay, that's okay. Sword, big sword for the little baby. All right, so wrapping this up, wrapping this up. When you sit down and draw, especially when I sit down and draw, time flies because What's it say? Time fly when you're having fun. So the more you do it, the better you become. And time actually flies when you do this stuff. When I do it anyway. But by doing this again, you'll be able to try a lot of things that you were afraid to try on something that you were um, not going to keep. So I'm not going to keep this so I can try as much stuff as I, you know, as I want. And if I mess up, I know not to try that on a finished piece because I'm not really worried about it. So this is something you should do. Do, do constantly do work on this stuff. Work on, on drawing from the imagination. Paper that you're not going to keep. Have fun. Don't worry about it if it looks good or not because you're throwing it away anyway or you're just going to keep it just to laugh at it later. So I did cover some things that I wanted to cover and I probably remember that I missed something later, but I'll cover it in another video. So that's going to be it for this video. Get out some paper, start drawing something. Don't necessarily draw what I, 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 I'm i drawing. Draw whatever you see that comes in your head. If you like anime, draw some anime people. If you like cars, draw cars. If you like you know, have dead chickens, draw half dead chickens, and then take that thing and continue to expound on it. This could be um, a Martian. It could be, you know, and then you can give them some stubble. Just you're, you're practicing. The more you play and the practice, the better you will become. I guarantee you money back guarantee. All right, I'll play with this thing forever and then time will go. And I know those people that are impatient won't sit and watch this whole video. But for you, losers, and the rest of you guys are winners. So I'm going to end this video because I'm going to end it. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to keep playing with this. So I'm going to let the camera run as I keep playing with this. I'll see you guys later.